I was watching a more recent interview of Daryl Anka, who is uh, a channel who channels an extraterrestrial future entity. I guess it's a future version of himself. I don't know. The story's pretty wild. Uh, he did this, he's like a filmmaker, and he did this documentary called First Contact a while ago about his experience. So if you're like curious and you're like, what the hell is this all about? I recommend you watch that documentary. I've watched a lot of Daryl Anka over the years channeling. And I really like the things that he has to say. You know, not once have I heard him say something while channeling where I've been like, completely put off like it's always been you know I've been open to all of it and um oh god what's that channel anyway there's like a really popular spiritual channel that I watch what's his name it'll come back to me but uh Daryl Anka was being interviewed on that recently and I watched it watched the whole interview and um I was reminded how interest, interested I am in this idea that, uh, okay, so what Bashar says is right now is the time of choosing. So we shift dimensions all the time and the versions of reality or the version of earth that we're on is shifting all the time. But essentially we're at a time where we can all, he says it's like a time where we can all see each other. These versions haven't fully split away from each other, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to understand it. Um, so I'm relaying this information to the best of my ability and understanding. Um, and, but so like he describes it as we're all in like these little glass boxes and we can see, we might not be on a certain version of earth that someone else is on, but we can see each other, so to speak, or I don't know, maybe not even so to speak. <laughs> and we're at a time where um, eventually it won't be that that be the case, but right now, okay, so clearly I think what a lot of us agree on is th there's something strange going on with experience right now where um, it's like a time where the secrets that have been hidden from us need to be pulled to the surface. And there are people out there who are playing an important role in digging up this stuff so everybody can see it. Those are very, um, that's a very important thing. Um, if we're reaching a point in time, it's like a time of choosing, or you could call it the time of harvest. Um, do you want to shift to a more positive version of Earth? Do you want to see what's really go been going on and do the necessary inner work to hitch a ride on that other? And what's on kind of like a little bit scary or not, just it sounds like we're kind of reaching the edge of that window for people to hitch a ride onto the higher versions of Earth. This sound, I realize as this is coming out of my mouth, like I realize how this sounds, so don't worry. <laughs> Um, but I, I don't know, man, it just kind of sits well with me that this may be what's going on. Um, I think my human mind is, this brain isn't capable of understanding beyond a certain amount. I mean, I'm, other people might be able to understand this better than me, but, uh, so maybe you could call them wanderers or whatever you want to call them. If you like the term star seeds, go for it. Um, but people incarnating into this harvest time to, to to pull the pull the weeds up so you can see the roots do you like what you see here's what's been going on maybe that's not the best metaphor but this first one that came to mind so we're reaching a time where um the information is out there for people to see what's really been going on with the corporate political uh government control structures, the billionaire structures, the people who've been controlling society, really that information is out there for people who want to see it and who want to really face what's been going on. Some people don't have to. There, There's some people in, and some people are going to do that. They're going to say, nope. And they're going to continue on down that pathway. And I guess, ultimately speaking, that's their choice as a soul. Uh, now, now, d don't take what I'm saying to... Uh, I'm just relaying an idea, okay? 
And when I say choose, don't start to get all like bah, about things. Just relax. Um, I'm just sharing some ideas and perspectives. Um, but but those people who've incarnated at, at this time, I think that the wanderers or whatever you want to call them, um, more easily have seen the uh, nefariousness and the deception than those who are not what you would call wanderers or such. Um, and so those are the people who've been the ones to kind of assist in this this choosing process. Which which reality do you want to shift to? Do you want to continue to be controlled and exploited and manipulated? Or do you want something different? And I kind of, I don't know, I really like this idea. And it sits well with me personally. Um, if you like it, cool. Check out Daryl Daryl Inca's channelings because they're really interesting. Um, next level soul. That's the channel. That's the channel. What is his name? Alex Ferrari. He's a cool dude. I like his, um, interviews. So there we have it. The time of choosing. I think so. Like, um, I saw this interview a number of days ago and this idea has just been, it keeps coming up in my mind and my awareness. Cause, um, I was really down about the world for a little bit there and I'm kind of, I've been battling some of those old depressive feelings that are part of this egoic identity that come up. I don't know. Maybe they come up around this time of year. I can't really remember if, if I think about it, maybe who cares, but, um, this idea, this concept for me, and I'm not telling anyone else to have this soothe their soul. Cause it might not, it might make them uncomfortable, but for me, this idea kind of soothes my soul a little bit about I mean about just the chaos that's been going on um the time of choosing it's a messy time um we we need to see we don't need to it would behoove you to see what's really going on because uh do you want to continue no because it's because you look back in history and the same bullshit's been repeated over and over and over the oppressor and the and the oppressed um, kind of a, di a dynamic and why can't I speak and uh, we can choose to get out of that and explore different aspects of creation perhaps anyway thanks for watching my little chat and have a great day bye